Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Have a Pint. Today we have Berliner Weiss from Boulevard Brewing Company. It is a sour ale in the style of Berliner Weiss. 4.5% alcohol by volume, a whopping 8 IBUs. 3.68 is the average rating on Untapped. And the description reads, Few beer styles can match the delicate, sparkling character of the classic Berliner Weiss. With its light body and tart palate, it's said that Napoleon's troops referred to it as the Champagne of the North. High praise for beer coming from Frenchmen. With Berliner Weiss, we pay tribute to the style while giving it a distinctively American twist. Bright and thirst-quenching, the beer is enlivened by soft lactic notes. So... Berliner Weiss is actually one of my favorite styles, and this is all it is. You know, this is the basic uh, Boulevard uh, label. And this is the only can I got. Ooh. There's steam coming out of that. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I got, like, a small chalice for this guy. So, we got about a finger's worth of head. Small, tightly laced bubbles. Uh, head decreases rapidly. You most certainly get the lactic out of it on the smell. I mean, it smells sour. Not lightly sour, it smells sour. That's good, and that's all you get. There's no, like, fruit note to it. Hi, bud boy. They're panicking. They're all, they've all been begging to eat for over an hour, even though they ate at four and it's 326. So they got a little while. No, oh, no head left. Wow. It's a pretty sour beer. It's not intensely sour, but it, it's not mildly sour either. I like that a lot. That is a very, very solid sour. But it's, this beer is part of that new kind of craze of uh, having, I don't know about necessarily year round, but But having uh, sours that are like six packs and not actually expensive, uh, more economical sours, which don't have as much flavor to them, sure. But for what you're paying, it, they're still very good. Is this year round available? It's available. Recommended glassware, pint glass. I went a little fancier. Doesn't say anything about being a uh, limited time offering. Liquid barrel lime goose. That I know was dark sour ale. Oh, I remember seeing that. Uh, and I wish I would have gotten that hibiscus goose. A dark sour ale says it's still available too. Oh, that's right, it's a big bomber bottle. That one says tulip glass, which it's, this is fairly close to a tulip. Fairly. But yeah. Ten Barrel has a few of them that are sours. That kind of ones come in six packs and they're pretty much available all year. Uh, Dogfish has one. It's becoming more popular. It's never going to be like IPAs where... Half the market is sour. It's never gonna happen. Seems like I have to wipe up beer a lot anymore, or today, and that's sad. That's very just depressing. 
but yeah, you know, if this what I'll, I'll say it this way, you know, 10 years ago, this would have came in a big bomber. And it probably would have been about 10 bucks for that bomber. And if I would have had that, sipped that, I'd have liked it. It's very nice. It's refreshing. But it's simple. And I would have been disappointed. Uh, franchise record. Oh. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is apparently doing insanely well. I don't have cable, and CBS is greedy as fuck. I'm not going to spend $70 a month to watch shit on their app. Not going to happen. Or whatever the fuck it is, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm not going to spend the money for it. But, uh... Yeah, things like this I really appreciate. But that but then I would have been disappointed. Uh with it being uh six packs, you know. I think it's eight ninety nine for the six pack. It's, that's way different. Like, New Belgium just re-released Transatlantic Creek. And I gotta get that. I gotta get, uh, La Folly again. Oh, La Folly. Favorite sour beer. Uh... So I gotta get I gotta get those two. Get get reviews of them up on the channel. I like the look of the bottle for Transatlantic Creek this year. It's not just <clears throat> your typical bomber bottle. I don't even it's not even a bomber. I think it's it looks almost like it's a pint, but a bottle. I like it. It looks cool and it's corked. Which cork does nothing for beer in my opinion, to be honest. <clears throat> but I don't know the look of the bottle combined with it being cork it looks very very nice granted I get those two bottles of beer and that's 30 bucks right there but that's the difference I can get just as much liquid uh, for the, the amount of liquid you get from a six pack of this those two, you'd be spending about 60 bucks, maybe more, but it's also the difference. Those two, I love both Transatlantic Creek and La Folly. Love them. Two of my favorite sours. This isn't going to get into that list of most sought after favorite sours, and it's not intended to. It's intended to be something that you can find quickly, drink a whole six pack at one. You couldn't get six bottles of Transatlantic Creek or La Folly drink them all in a sitting you'd die because they're bigger alcohol and bigger bottles of beer but you couldn't drink a six pack worth either of those but the, the, with that said they're much more complex it's not just the sour hi baby she's the one that's always the most desperate for food she, she runs on food, literally, but that's, uh, that's how you train her to do anything, is with food. Same with the young, young one that you see, uh, right there. They're both food, food motivated. This one here is motivated by, don't punish me, I, I don't like being in trouble. She, she, she's very depressed when she gets in trouble. But yeah. Uh, so, this team is doing about 
Uh, not worse than we expected, but it's not really a surprise. So at the end of the day, the cabinet was left pretty well empty. There's some talent, but at the same time, it's not the talent that goes for the kind of offense we're going to be running for probably the next 30 years. But, well, it'll get there. It'll, it'll get there. I was hoping, you know, best case scenario, you know, we could win a possible nine games this year and be set up next year, you know, to win 10 or 11 games and be way ahead of where we were expecting to be. Right now it's looking like we're a little bit further back than we expected to be. So eking out some wins this year would be nice. Next year, seven, eight, nine wins is probably where, it, you know, nine will be probably the cap next year. And then 10, 11, 12, year three, maybe 10 or 11 be the cap. Then year four, you, I think, the thing is, I don't know. I feel like it'll still be better than that because we got an incredible quarterback in Adrian Martinez. There's a reason why everybody wanted him, and I mean everybody. And I mean, against Colorado, who don't have a bad defense. They do not have a bad defense. He threw for about 70% of his passes for completions. Uh... And I mean, with him in there, we rolled for over 300, about 400 yards in the first half. We just gotta learn that little trick of uh, getting touchdowns and not turning it over. So, I don't know. Part of me feels like it'll be way better than what we're expecting after the start to this season. But. Uh, coming into the season, you know, it was like, well, we're, you know, we're hoping it's better than we expect it to be, and now we're fearing it's worse than what we were expecting it to be, but at the same time, I'm not worried. I'm just not worried. How many people on this team are Scott Frost recruits? How many of them on the team right now have ever run the style offense that Scott runs? Sorry. <clears throat> Not many of them. You know, he came in in December. He hasn't been here for a full year. And look at his track record. While he was the offensive coordinator at Oregon. That wasn't very nice, little Lulu. Uh... Somebody changed my damn channel. But at Oregon, they consistently had one of the top five best offenses, if not the best offense year in and year out. Uh, took over at UCF, who had gone 0-12 the year before he went there. First year, 6-6. Six and six. Second year, undefeated. And there were some good teams that they played to go to that and uh, go on undefeated. You know, and some people were suspect about, you know, the defensive coordinator because, you know, a few of those games, teams racked up 40-plus points, but those were teams with incredible offenses um, that you just don't keep out of the end zone. Uh, like, whoever they played for the conference championship there. That team at, was, like, averaging 50 points a game almost. They're going to get their points. You know, you know, defense hasn't been so bad so far this year. Actually, they've been great so far this year. It's just we got to find it on offense. Because here's the thing. If we could find the end zone fairly consistently, we'd be 2-0 right now. You know, and the thing that bothers me most is, you know, people are like, well, Reed screwed us out of the first game uh, 
with that personal foul. There's many things that you could attribute to that. Not having to, not being able to play Akron the week before, uh, which would have been a great team to get started on the season because Troy and Colorado are way different beasts than uh, Akron is. Uh, you could say it's because of Colorado's number 44, whatever the hell his name is, for putting an ankle lock on our quarterback and knocking him out for the last five minutes of the game. Uh, you can contribute to the fact that we spotted him 14 points in the first five minutes. You could attribute it to giving them three turnovers while getting none ourselves. Uh, you could contribute it to a lot of things. It was just that same thing yesterday. There was a lot of things you could contribute contribute it to. Penalties both 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 games was a big issue. I think we averaged about ten penalties both day or both games. You know, and it's little things. None of this is like big major things that it's like wow. This you know, it's not like it's not like it's a talent issue. It's not. It's not major things that are going to take a lot of time to fix. These are things that you you can't fix overnight, but can be fixed fairly quickly. Uh, but yeah, I won't harp on that for too long. We are going to start zero and three. There's zero chance that we don't start zero and three. This next weekend, there, there's zero chance of a win. But would I get this again? Just like the last one I had, the raspberry. Yeah. I wouldn't get it until later in spring, uh, uh, early summer. But there's zero chance I, I uh, zero chance I won't get this ever again. rating on this it's not meant to be in the same league as transatlantic creek it's not meant to be in the same league as la Folly or cross strain locally they're qualitiers it's not meant to be like that it's not meant to be like brickway's wild olivia it's way different it's supposed to be an easier simpler style of sour I'm going to go with 4.25 again, like I did the raspberry beer. Because it's what it's trying to be. And it does it incredibly well. So, until next time, Prost.